you know, black folks in there's Comet Lovejoy and just reiterating the facts, the absolute facts that we have ended up finding somewhat of a black deep darkness of space up by Mars because the idea that it's taken so long for all the CME action to go right in that spot right there. So no matter what, if it's not a black hole, that is the deepest, darkest spot in space out past Mars right there. Okay, because right through there is darkness, okay, being seen to us and also down through this seam right here, okay. So no matter what, that is the deepest, darkest spots of space because it's taken so long for the solar flare CME action to get there. And i.e. our CME, solar electrical activity, is giving us the meatball way back in deep dark space is humongous because these stars right here are right on along the line of the edge and right here the solar flare absolutely hits the outer edge of it not the object because that object is super humongous dead star planet is back in space way back because you see all these stars because they're there this silhouette is way the hell back. You end up seeing all the stars that are along and more than likely this was one of the big massive objects of the Big Bangs or the Big Bang because it's so damn huge. You can see it all the way along here. This solar flare x-rays everything. You can see everything and it doesn't distort. It's not a hologram. It's not a hologram. Hologram. Hol It's not a hologram, folks. It's not a silhouette. It's not a flare. It's not a lens flare. It's actually there. All these constellations and stuff are ahead of it. It is way back in space. But all the solar light off of these flares, and this thing, this solar flare and CMEs we're getting right now, the sun is getting its ass kicked. And who knows what's going to be our next sun or if the sun's still going to be there. Because check this footage out, okay? So no matter what, folks, this object, you can see it resonating through space. It is way back there behind all these stars. It's a humongous, humongous planet. It's not a silhouette, folks. It's not a lens flare. If it was, you'd be getting a, a hologram of this flare. And you don't get a hologram of the flare, folks. So this is all taken off of this shot here. We know we got deep dark space up by Mars and a seam out into deep dark space. That's basically here. And this is impressive as hell. Deep dark space there, 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 and up in here and down. And it's like a seam down here. And then you've got the big object, the big gosh damn impressive as hell planet from somewhere the hell. And it's dead and it's out there. That is a goddamn planet. There is no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's not a sun because if it was a sun, it would be flared or putting off like light like that solar flare does because that solar flare puts off light. Okay, It's putting off light like a son of a buck. And we're going to see it here because I'm going to back a video up. You're going to see a solar CME flare going back into the sun, folks. And it starts on today's date or actually the 25th. We'll see what we got for a date. And here we go to it. I'm going to make you a movie. I can't blow it up more than this. I can blow it up. You can blow up and go to bigger sizes, but then it takes out the whole effect of the whole film, okay? And then it has to take time to load. So I'm going to back this up. This is on the 25th, and I'm backing up through whatever date we end up with at the back end when we get there, and then I'll play it forward. So I'll go down to 50%, and here goes our movie. We'll be able to go back. And that's the very end, okay? And there's your movie. Here's your movie starting. And then we're going to see this solar CME flare, which is huge as hell because this is space, folks. Endless almost, it seems, miles. And here we go. This CME, solar mass ejection, folks. CMEs are solar mass ejections. Electrical energy and light coming off the sun. Gigantic fireball, folks, right there. I'm going to keep going back, and you're going to keep seeing that get sucked back into the sun. As you see, the clock will change, folks. And you can see it starting to go back in towards the sun, folks.
1400 hour, 1329, 1249, 100 hour, 1209. Oh, here you go, folks. Going back into the sun, that CME. And the super giants. And yes, it has to be more than solar mass ejection, folks. The sun is getting its ass kicked in the super giants, folks. This damn thing is too damn large. Because also, as you're going to see, this is going back also. This is already a solar flare that we've already got. Nor we're, we, we, that'll be the beginning of what we're going to get. So realize how massive that this thing is. Now, I think I've gone all the way back to what we started with, what I had for footage, when you go to H1A. So here we go is with the ejection, and there you can see it right there. <coughs> that is going to be a massive... So when everybody says that that's a holograph, and on the other one, I was beginning the video showing you. Okay, so we're going to go. So you see this thing move and watch, and you're going to see all this move coming right at you like a movie. And you'll see the hour change. Every shot's a different hour. So every hour this half this must action happens in space. And then it went through it. Something happened there. So what did I end up with here for a deal? But anyway, I'm going back and he'll be coming out at you. I think one of the shots must have got blanked out that we went to that screen. Because when we backed up, we didn't get that. So here's that solar flare coming. So we got CME action coming all the way across space. And there's another one that probably got blacked out for some reason. And I hit another shot, and we're not going to get the movie that I had going. So anyway, I tried to make you a movie there. We got what we got, and then they took that action away from us. They don't like us being able to show you all that action that's coming. And so I'm backing it back out. It's going back towards the sun. And every one of these clicks is an hour. And now we'll just give you the CME coming at you. Hopefully it'll load and be all right and give you this. Here comes a big CME, folks. Every one of these lapses, and when you see it moving like that, it's an hour to lapse. Big ass CME coming out. And now there was a beginning of it, the CME, that there was one before it. And that's it. They're screwing around. They know that I'm feeding it to you. They watch me. They got my screen windowed. And when I'm screencasting, they, so they end up unloading it because otherwise I should be able to click back through every page that I just did to for you. So this thing is humongous. Huge planet. There's just no doubts about it. This flare proves that that's a damn planet up there. Even the, the magneticism off of Venus, I believe that is, and or Mars because they're closest. Because, okay, Mars is there, so that's more than likely is Mercury and another planet that's close. That magnetism. And we know that's Lovejoy down there. Headed back into deep, dark space, folks, after it came out of the sun. So, can't get more positive than that, that that's our massive planet up there. As we scroll back down and we'll give you the outline, you can't miss the outline. It's right there. It's hitting you right in the face and just nobody wants to fess up and understand that it's there. More than likely the meatball, ladies and gentlemen. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. All these stars are way in front of it and that meatball is way the hell out there in space. And this massive CME ejection, basically the sun getting its ass kicked. So... The last day or so, of basically hour by hour going through, that is a humongous CME out there in space. So let me go to Solars and see what we can look there. And blown up a thousand percent, folks. Deep dark space. Because this CME is taking a long time to get there. All the way through this here vein here that we've got. It takes light a long time to get there. So that's the deepest avenues of space that we know melding of galaxies, Milky Way, and so forth because it takes a long time for that solar flare and light to get there. And you can see it's taking a hell of a long time for it to get there. So that's the dark, deep spot up there. Well, 
by Mars, and there's Jupiter. So we pop out at 400%, and we'll give you a shot on that. Deep dark space, folks, way out there. Up by Mars, uh, Chinese space station's up there. We've got uh, Curious going up there now. It's supposed to take two years to get there. It was there started off the earlier this year. So this this shot. Stay there at Sechi too. This is the recent 25th or whatever, and this is all everything around you by Earth, folks. And we have that there that we keep looking at. So basically, I figured we'd blow that up. We don't have Jupiter, but we do have Lovejoy down there to look at. That's still getting caught. And we have this cluster here down there also that's very interesting in space. So let's go ahead and zoom in on this. So that object that's up by Earth, and then we will also see that we have this very close to Earth here. <coughs> And this, all these stars and planets around us right here close to the Earth, okay, most recent. And then we got Lovejoy here, I'll give you, over here to the right, so you know. And then basically we'll go way left, and we should be able to pull down. And there's another interesting planet between here and, because that's not Jupiter, but it's very large. Okay, so this is today, or I mean the 25th is the most recent shot I've been able to yank up. And that's what's interesting too over the weekend. I don't know if why they're taking time of not throwing us up the stuff real fast because it is the 27th. So we know they've been in to reload because I got the 23rd and the 22nd or whatever on the weekend on the 26th. So a massive planet there because we know Mars is up here. More than likely, I think that's Mars right there. And then this massiveness here that we just, what the heck, like is it, you know? Very, very wild looking. Almost some kind of a sign. I mean, it's crazy. It looks like some kind of a head. And then something coming out of the t top of it. And legs. Very unique. Gives us very streaky. I mean, you know, it's just light that we're looking at. Combined of possibly a bunch of planets. You know, you know, planet, 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 planet. But it really gives some weird... Gives off some weird images. Looks like a little poodle. <laughs> <laughs> with, the, with some earphones on it or something on the radio thing up there. But anyway, uh, just where it's really weird looking. And then you got all these outbursts here too. So very unique. And the idea that it's close by Earth right now, folks. It's, that's Earth right there. I'm going to pop out 400. And you'll realize. And then I'll just keep popping out. And I'll keep popping out with this. That's Earth, and basically Jupiter should be like up here behind here somewhere. Or Jupiter's right here somewhere. Jupiter's somewhere in here, and it's not, the, sure the hell ain't that. And I think Jupiter's cut off here because that's Lovejoy right there. That's Comet Lovejoy going off into deep dark space because the sun's back here. Most recent Lasko black and white Navy, and I don't know if the, I'm pretty damn sure that they're just not wanting you to see that big solar flare, folks. I mean, you can see it here and here, and I just showed you in the footage, so I mean, it's massive. And uh, also they black out a bunch on uh, two right now too. So it's going to be really interesting to see the blues and not see fake bake seamed in here and see a real shot like I've been showing you from H1. And you can see my uh, <coughs> central time down here. And this is Tullahoma. It gets dark first east coast. And you can see very interesting here. Dark sky. And you get that object. And also here. And then we go to also this and very bright stars all the way on Huntsville already, too. So let's get out and look at the stars, folks. It's awesome. Look up the moon tonight. And, yes, these views are live, East Coast, live right now, Central Time, 621. And this is East Coast down here. That's UTC time, Zulu time, okay? So this stuff's out there. And like I was showing you on that one, there's that... You can see that in the night sky right now, folks. East coast. And this is east coast also, night sky. Okay. And another thing, folks, is this is footprints. And we know we don't trust USGS as far as the actual magnitude anymore. So the idea that you start paying attention to footprints. <coughs> when you see a quake that's that got these large of footprints, like we used to know that that would be like a three point something there okay and the size is what I'm talking about the spread out of the footprint of the of the damn quake watch all the videos